I mean, it's a big game. You know, obviously, that's, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, anytime USC plays Notre Dame, I think uh, everyone who has anything to do with football around the country is going to be watching the game. Um, you know, it being a nighttime on prime time only makes it that much bigger. Um, as far as the hype and you know them getting ready to play us, we're, I think we're used to it. You know, I think everyone on our entire roster, um, you know, they're they're getting ready to play us, and they circle our name on their on their schedule every single year. So. Um, I'm sure they're going to bring everything they got. And, you know, it's going to be a big game. It's going to be a game of inches for sure. Hopefully it's not too close. Um, hopefully it's a pretty decisive win on our side, but we're ready for anything. Coach Kiffin talked about last year's loss being the worst loss he's ever experienced as a head coach. Has there been any talk in the locker room about uh, avenging last year's painful loss you guys have at the Coliseum? Yeah, sure. You know, I think as competitors, um, you know, as we go, go into the second half of the season, um, you know, we've got three or four of our last six opponents, you know, all of whom we lost to last year. So, uh, you know, it's really time for us to, um, you know, finish like we've been talking about all, all off season and, and really embrace the second half of the season. Um, for the seniors like myself, you know, this is our last go around. It's my last six games in college. So, um, you know, hopefully there's some good memories ahead and you know, make the most, most out of it. What's it like when the bus pulls out? It's the best. Uh, there's no place like it. Um, you know, what's so unique is that, um, you know, just about every one of the guys on our team was recruited by Notre Dame um, at one point or another, um, a lot like myself. And, you know, I'd taken trips back there. It's just a, such an historic place, so much tradition. Um, you know, that stadium and the fans and just how hostile it is. Uh, you know, in the times we've been there, it's been, you know, 1 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, 7.30 night game, um, shouldn't be anything like it for sure. Thanks, Chris, what stands out to you about Notre Dame's middle linebacker, Monty? Yeah, there. What's that? What stands out to you about, about Teo, I mean, Notre Dame's middle linebacker, and what he's been uh, able to he's, do? You know, he's a great downhill player. Um, you know, he obviously he's got a great nose for the ball. Just makes a lot of plays. Um, you know, I think he's the leader of their defense. He, you know, he does a really nice job. Is he what a middle linebacker is supposed to be, sort of for a, for a defense like that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, they run a 3-4 scheme. It's a little different than what we run, um, you know, but uh, he fits in their scheme really well. He makes a ton of plays. Um, so, yeah, he's a darn good backer.